Hey Clashes Clan Capital Bases, this was one of the most, most requested videos out there in the comments. People were asking me left and right on the German channel, English channel, like this channel, everywhere, if I could do a video for the Capital Peak level 7 to 10 and all of those connected districts as well, which means we're going to share layouts in this video, starting with the Capital Peak right here. Starting at level 7, going to level 10, and then with the Barbarian Camp 4 and 5, with the Wizard Valley 3, 4, 5, we have then Balloon Lagoon as well, 3, 4, 5, we then have Wiz uh, the, the Builders Workshop, I'm sorry, with as well 3, 4, 5, and then we're going to Dragon Cliffs, starting at level 2, going to level 5, and then we have Golden Quarry as well, starting at 2, going to level 5. It is crazy, it is a lot of faces in this base video. Unfortunately, there is no links for the clan capital, but still I want to share all of those and as well I want to give a huge shout out to the to the builders who made this possible first off One of the legends of clan capital if you have not him followed yet Then you're doing something wrong and that's none other than Sen FGR He is incredible with the bases. He's incredible with his content because he's a youtuber as well So I will share his link down below in the description give him a follow give him some love because he shared the bases for Dragon Cliffs 3 and 4 and Golden Quarry 3 and 4 as well next one on the list is Iron Fish who shared the all of the bases for Capital Peak level 7 and all of those connected districts, which means all of the lowest uh, districts out there, all on this video. Next one as well is going to be König Hugo, who shared all of those max layouts now, which means Capital Peak level 10 and all of those uh, connected again districts there as well. He is part of the 187 family and he shared as well uh, some social stuff. So if you want to follow him there, Make sure to do so. I will link all of his stuff down below in the description. So thank you so much for the builders. Some of those layouts were as well some out of, of mine, which I used in my community clan and where I still found screenshots of because the main reason why this video was really hard to pull off is I got asked a lot by this, but so far I never really had screenshots out of those layouts. It's not easy. It's like over like 23 layouts or something like it's crazy. So there's a lot of bases in this one single base video and you can see them already. Keep going, keep going. As I said already, you need to make sure screenshot them and build them by your hand, unfortunately, but it's not easy to find all of those uh, bases. And as I said already, I had to work together with a lot of other builders to make this video possible because since we were on those level, a lot of things have changed, especially the battle ram change where it's now targeting different walls, which means the maze bases, which we used mainly back then, were not really viable anymore. So that's kind of like the problem. So instead now, we have those new bases of the builders, which is really, really awesome to be able to share them in this video. And... Um, yeah, I think at this point, I think I should jump in on the Wizard Valley because this district kind of sucks. I mean, let's get this right. This district is um, interesting, okay? So if you can defend on this district, like even three times, it's already success most of the time for the, for the defense, especially for the maxed out Wizard Valley. It is not the best district to defend okay so there is not enough splash and not enough really high damage yes there's the thing in front of towers but it takes so long for them to stack up so it's really really hard to defend there and uh i hope those bases are going to defend great for them uh for, for the people who are going to copy them right next one or next thing on the list is we're starting then with the balloon lagoon where we have three layouts again for level three four and five the layouts there were from fish as i already said the second one is uh one of our old bases where it's a maze base where you can see already we have used a lot of them um but this one should still work and then the last max one is going to be again from koenig hugo so first one again is a nicely set up a base with some anti-archer walls and making sure they cannot get like the the rock artillery cannot get reached that easily and then we have our maze base, as I said already. Um, this should still work, even with the ramp change. For us, it worked. I don't know if people did it the wrong way, but it did work most of the time. So uh, I hope it's going to work for you as well. And then the last one, as I said already, from 
uh, Hugo. Overall, if you want to have more clan capital content on this channel as well, let me know down below in the comments and uh, let me know what you would like to see, what type of content I would love to, to cover again, a couple of those things, maybe a couple of red weekends. Let's see how things are going to change. But make sure to follow the channel. There's going to be some great videos coming really soon. I'm really excited to, to share them with you. So uh, that's something I'm looking forward to personally. But now, as I said, the maxed out layout. But this means we're getting to the next district, which is, that's right, Vidas Workshop. That's the next one is um, the next talking point with the decorations. On some of those layouts, we kind of somewhat tried um, to keep the decorations untouched. But as soon as you're progressing higher and higher, at some point you have to get rid of those because they're blocking so much of your village. They're blocking so much of the possible locations. That it's kind of annoying. So um, yeah, some of those layouts, you really need to get rid of those decorations. This one is one of our roll bases where you can just upgrade the life power and you just keep it where it is. It defended pretty well for us um, considering it's a base which is not removing the decorations. So for this video, it's kind of tricky. Should I always share bases which have sh removed the decorations or should I not do it like this now? The max out version has removed the decorations. So I hope that you're... It's, it's fine with like having a mix like this where some of those are removed, some of them are not removed. I hope that's, that's going to work for you. But this means we have already went through the next category, the next district level, which means we're now finally getting to the Dragon Cliffs, which is, I think, uh, one of the most annoying districts to attack for most players. So, uh, yeah, that's always interesting, okay? So, on this one, we're starting with level 2. Again, as I said, from Iron Fish. And now we're getting to the bases. Where I'm kind of excited is because this is a professional, okay? And um, we have that again from Sen FGR who has built those bases. So this one, so the base on the far left, ignore those, okay? Like he is um, level four in this clan. So he had to kind of remove some buildings. This one he said is like a trap base, which means like a spawn trap base, which is sometimes really, really overwhelming if you have to find a nice angle and it's not that easy to attack. So I'm looking really forward to your feedback, how it's going to defend for you. And this is more classic approach, uh, which I know then as well, which is like more a rounder style for the level four um, dragon cliffs, which means like really spread out dragons, making sure that they're covering as much as possible, spreading them out so you cannot cover two of them with one rage if you're attacking with Sneaky Archers, for example. That's the next thing. So uh, yeah, really let me know how those defend for you if you are on this specific level. And now again, the max out. Um, district as well, which has a similar approach again, which is more like this around all rounder style without really having um, this trap style uh, set up because I feel like the one cool thing which I really love about the clan capital as a builder, you have so many different setups, you have so many different approaches to how you set up your base, like what type of style you want to have your base um, overall. And that's something I really love. Next one, God of Curry. We don't have to talk about that. It's getting really quickly, really hard. In the first couple of level, it's kind of underwhelming with the amount of defenses you have. So it's most of the time two attacks, I would say. But then as you're getting higher and higher, like to level three, four, five, it's really hard sometimes to take those out if you have a good base and a good spread on those uh, defenses. On this one, um, yeah, using the tunnel as a tank, I feel like this is such an important thing like those. Those town halls, those district halls, those capital peak hall, like those town halls have so many hit points, it is crazy. So for the district halls, you can really use them as great tanks, making sure that your key defenses are protected. And this is exactly the setup which you can see on this base, on the other base as well. This is another base from uh, San FGR, and he is kind of like teasing people to come from the bottom side, he said where there's a couple of traps and everything to make this quite expensive to go for this rocket artillery. So, um, yeah, it looks already annoying to attack, I have to say. So I'm looking forward to your feedback, how this those bases defend it. And this gives us the opportunity to get to the last level, which is this one again from Kunik Hugo. So again, huge shout out to all of the builders. I have linked as much stuff that have, that has, they have posted me or like given me of their socials down below in the description, because as I said, I could not thank you guys enough 
Without you, this video would be not possible. So I hope the entire community appreciates your effort. And again, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found a nice base which is going to defend for you and your clan. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow this channel if you want to have more clan capital content. And I will see you guys tomorrow with the next video. Until then, see ya and bye bye.